Hello, this is the video of image processing project, which is actually a real-time image processing using FPGA Nexus 4 core. So in this project, what we did that we used four different kernels, uh, in fact, three different kernels, which include a smoothing filter, uh, one is Sobel horizontal filter, and the other one is vertical Sobel filter to, to convolve through all the pixels of a 2D grayscale image. So we are using one of the most famous pictures of Lena to do this project and the size of the picture is 128 by 128 pixels and the size of the kernel is 3, 3 by 3. So this is the default output of the Nexus 4 board. So we are going to program our FPGA board using this IEC impact software which is provided by Xilinx. So let's do the boundary scan and let's do the let's try to find the FPGA board. So this is how we find the FPGA board in our computer. So what we have to do earlier is to install the USB drivers and yes we need to have the license. So if you buy this board, so I bought this board as a student. So you can ask for the student license to from Xilinx and they can provide you the license so you can install it in your own computer. So let's set the programming file to program our FPGA. So the, that programming file is also that we developed in IEC. So let's assign new configuration file. So here is the programming file for this project. So let's program our FPGA. This is programming our FPGA and you can see now the output of our project. So you can see right now, let me zoom this for you. So now we can see that there is two images in on the screen. The upper one is the original image that we use and the the uh, image that you can see uh, at the bottom of the screen or the lower picture is actually the output of the image processing program. One thing uh, before going to the kernels and the smoothing and the other filters, here we can see that our input image is less bright as compared to the output image. It's because of the fact that right now the output image is the output of the convolution of the delta filter with the input image. In delta filter, we do not multiply the neighborhood values with anything but zero and when we just take the pixel value and we display it and how we are achieving this in our FPGA program is that we take the neighborhood values from the image and we multiply each value with the value corresponding to the kernel then we add them and finally in our program we get a 16-bit number now we have to divide this number by 3 we take data from 11 bit until 4 bit so we got an 8-bit data and we neglected the first 3 bits of our 16-bit number. We achieved the division also. So when the histogram is a strength, so we get more bright picture. So let's move on to the other outputs of our program. So these are the three switches that we are using. This first switch is actually for the reset, is acting like the reset switch. This is a reset switch, so if we turn it off, you can see that the output on the screen is turned off. And for the program to work, we have to make this one on. So these, the other two switches are going to select the output of, the, of our FPGA board on the screen. So let's change this switch. So we right now can see that the output is changed. So this is the output of horizontal Sobel filter and this is the output of vertical Sobel filter. We can see that the operation of convolution of the kernel is very fast and when we analyze our kernel multiplication and everything, the mathematics, so we come to know that it's as fast as 4.3 nanoseconds. So this is very fast actually. So, okay, let's change the, the kernel. This is the smoothing filter, so we can 
change and we can see the evident change between the original picture and the smoothing filter. Before implementing all this code here in the board, we already confirmed the output of our algorithm on MATLAB. We first wrote a file in simulation and then we uh, imported that file in the MATLAB to get the output from that file. So the results are very accurate and they are very fast as I said that we are only we only require 4.3 nanoseconds for one complete multiplication and addition and division so this actually proves that FPGA are very efficient uh, in image processing purposes so we can use them in real-time image processing projects so this is all for this video thank you for watching bye